You know what's the one thing that's just a common staple of television? Oh, yeah, reality TV. It's horrible. I wish it never happened. I meant commercials. Oh. Yeah, it's horrible. I wish it never happened. Ah, well. So, apparently, so do the people at uh, Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. Oh, yeah, it's horrible. I wish that never happened. (laughs) How do you pay for things? My guess, I guess... Fiat currency, apparently. Well, I guess guess you could do Netflix. Oh, yeah, Netflix is always good. But at one one time, I mean, that was the development. Because, I mean, Netflix hasn't been around forever. It's true. But now it is here, and honestly... They're uh, killing it. They they are killing it, and not only that, but other other subscription based ones as well. You know, Amazon Prime, which you know the Grand Tour, which still lost them by the way. Yep. Uh, Hulu's doing all right. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Hulu's doing Hulu's doing pretty good. Mm-hmm. Um, but in all honesty, dude, um, commercials are are almost gone. I mean, honestly, the only ones I really tune into now Super are the ones. Yeah, that's uh-huh. it because it's the only time that they like. Put their best effort into commercials. I mean, it's it's that almost I've, gets to commercial as art form. I've been super disappointed with like the past three or four years in the Super Bowl commercials. I just haven't watched the Super Bowl. I mean, I don't even know what a Super Bowl is. I just go for the commercials because they've been crap. So, <laughs> whatever. Oh, boy. I don't know that I've watched a Super Bowl in the last five years now that I think about it. Hmm. Huh. I was going to say, I know, I know if one team gets in, you're going to be watching. What is football? Because of Elena. That's true, yeah. Because <laughs> I think it was like, how long has it been since the Steelers have been in the Super Bowl? Five years? I don't know. And it's it's less football, more hand egg. Uh, hmm. Tell me I'm wrong. Sounds messy. No. It generally is. No, I, you're wrong. I, you're wrong, Ben. Hand egg ball? Scars, scars people for life. Hand no. egg ball. No, I still I still think it's football because the the game always begins with a kickoff and usually ends with a kick as well. Or in the case of a very recent game, uh the game begins with a guy from Boston pulling the fire alarm at the hotel the Steelers are staying at. Yeah, because well honestly they're That was a thing that happened yeah. this morning. Yeah, they're they're dating jerks. the video. Yeah, they're jerks. They everybody knows we only record on Sundays. Yeah, well, everybody no, they don't. Knows. No, they don't because they're just like, how come you all haven't recorded this yet? You guys are awful, horrible people. You should uh, all. Uh, yeah, and to which my and, and to which my response that out. I'm well, and sorry. to which my response is, get a life, stop masturbating in your room and thinking that you're actually contributing to society, and go outside. Still more effective than voting, though. Not my words, George Carlin. Ouch. And on that bombshell, start the video. All He's right. a lot smarter than I am. He's certainly something. He was. Yeah, 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 you know the opening. Hello, I'm the Nostalgia Critic, you know the rest. If you're like me, you're excited that we get to review commercials again. The Keebler Elves. Oh, the nostalgia. Oh, the wow. memories. Oh, the mass marketing manipulation. You can't wait for them? Neither can I. Seeing how we called the other episodes after these messages, we'll be right back. Explanation point, the fourth one, and the quickening. This one I'm entitling. Let's just get to it. Commercials! After these messages. After these messages. Wow. After these messages. After these messages. We'll be right back. Hey kids, remember when Chuck E. Cheese made Showbiz Pizza disappear? Under mysterious circumstances. Well, this is how they used to advertise on TV. The most advanced video game you can play is awaiting your discovery at Showbiz Pizza Place. Actually, maybe the reason they ran out of business is because they put fog machines on top of their video games for some reason. (laughs) Come on, I can't see the princess cleavage! It also yeah, doesn't help that me. each game was given one giant dark room to itself. It's about as cost effective as Willy Wonka shrinking down his giant chocolate bars. But who gives a shit? He's playing Dragon's Lair! The most gorgeous robbery of your money ever. We lost so many quarters to this thing because we had to keep reminding ourselves we weren't watching a movie. Oh, I hope Dirk's reunited with his Russian mouse family. I mean, damn it, I'm playing a game! Why didn't this ever become a movie? Wouldn't that have made sense? Wouldn't you want to explain where that flashing yellow light came from? Or the dragon's ability to learn bubble trapping technology? Fucking bubbles! 
Or how... The dragon <laughs> keeps it around his neck. Daphne made your testicles drop so fast? Why didn't they ever make this a movie? With Don Bluth and his people. What is it, flashing yellow light? Are you trying to tell me something? Uh, wait a minute. Why was I following a yellow light? It really is kind of... A simple commercial, but simply 80s. What's not to like about it? Brand new at Showbiz Pizza Place. You can have lots oh, of high-tech fun that, with Tiger's yes. Talkboy tape recorder. Ah, the only good thing to come out of Home Alone 2, outside of an even gayer Tim Curry. Have a lovely day. The whole movie practically served as an advertisement for this thing. Hey, stop drooling on me. Hey, stop drooling on me. Yeah, that's what a voice app used to look like, kids. In fact, that's practically what cell phones used to look like, too. The commercial just shows a boy playing pranks on his sister. That's cute and all, but you gotta question a little bit of the plausibility. Like the voice speed control. Hi, kids, we're home early. <laughs> Hi, kids, we're home early. What creepy ass parent sounds like that? Is there a kid and some friends out there who really has a father who's like. <laughs> Hi, kids, I'm about to go slaughter puppies. You stay here and go to bed by 11 or. Uh oh. He's real close. I'll eat your heart. Thank you, Doug. Thank you, Doug. <laughs> Good. Good. Jesus. I think I need to be potty trained again. Data technology today, but kind of cool back then. <clears throat> with a funny, if not disturbing ad to go along with it. Tiger's Talkboy tape recorder comes with audio cassette. As recommended by Peter McAllister. The father. Jesus I'm sorry, Christ, what? lady, who bathes like that? <laughs> My ass, you're making a bigger mess than sorry. a dog who just walked through a more, thunderstorm. There's more hair. Look at this asshole. Was he on a trampoline? I'm only two feet tall, don't judge me. You're not fully clean unless you're fully clean. Do I look clean to you? Surprise. Ah! Wits ground! I'm not fully clean unless I'm zestfully clean. Zest turns a relatively relaxing part of your day into a seizure-inducing physical strain that'll cause you more spasms than a sponge in an electric chair. Zestfully, uh, zestfully, oh. zestfully clean! Look at this dude. He just wants to take a nice, quick, relaxing shower. What the hell does he get? Please hold on to the bar. Holy shit, what is happening? I shouldn't have taken crystal meth in the morning. Speaking of people clearly on drugs. Zest fully clean. You're not fully clean unless you're zest fully clean. My hero's a bar of soap. I need counseling. I don't know why they have to make getting clean look like an orgasmic water park, but I guess it worked because they're still talking about it today. Pretty silly, but it's a campy well, kind of Irish silly. Did the same Kinda thing. hard not to still get a game. Yeah, so hey, you're not fully clean unless you're just fully clean. Lady, happened. what is wrong with you? Hey, tomorrow we win! Now Here listen. he goes again. Here's an old favorite. It's a coach trying to get his team excited to win the big game. But an organ dicing of pasta gets them hyped up for SpaghettiOs instead. Because yeah, I'd get a lot more excited for that than winning a freaking sport. Look, what are they playing? We gotta want it. They we never gotta say. be hungry to win. Are you hungry? For SpaghettiOs. Yeah! What the hell are they even playing? It's a unisex sport with no uniforms and a game plan that looks more like a map to bury treasure. No wonder they're distracted oh, by melted gnocchi. They don't even know what they're playing! Tomorrow we win! Now listen. Here he goes again. Don't you hate it when he motivates us for a miscellaneous Marcus. sport that we don't like but we signed up for anyway? Wow, we're gonna want this so bad, we can taste it. Can you taste it? Yeah. What are we gonna do? Eat SpaghettiOs! Yeah, you got it right, kids. Sports are dumb. SpaghettiOs are awesome. It's just like that controversial Super Bowl last year. Attention, everyone. Attention. The game has been canceled. 
because both teams want to eat SpaghettiOs. A weird ad for a gross product, but one that'll still stay fresh in our memories. It's gotta be, uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. <laughs> Well, that was just said. Okay, I'm just gonna let you figure things out, little girl. There's no rush, just... You might want to check out some of these cartoons. Close your eyes, uh, wow. Night, night. Okay, you just kissed your nipple. I'm okay with being curious, but sleeping in pink potato sacks is not consent. I'll hold you tight, bedtime bar. Oh look, she sleeps the same way zestfully clean people bathe. So I guess you'd want to move around too if you slept in a nightgown that even the Duggars would call too conservative. Let's get ready for bed. I'll hold you tight, bedtime Barbie. Bedtime Barbie doll has a soft body. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. I don't want to enforce any gender Drawing stereotypes like or anything like that, holes. but... You what if this was a guy? boys commercial? Like, the exact same lines and everything, just you switched out the genders to male. Would we really look at this the exact same way? Now there's a new Barbie I can sleep with. Yeah. Snuggle tonight, bedtime Barbie. Doug, what have you done? I'll hold you tight, bedtime Barbie. Oh. This is body soft. Let's get ready for bed. Snuggle tonight, bedtime Barbie. I'll hold you tight. Bedtime Barbie. Oh, oh. Bedtime Barbie yeah. doll has a oh, soft Jesus. body. Now with an adult yeah, version no, for dad. Okay, that part I added on, but you get the idea. What can one say but naivete? Thy name is Bedtime Barbie. I'll hold you tight, Bedtime Barbie. Bedtime Barbie doll has a soft body. <laughs> Want to come to my place and learn our new song? Oh, of course. McDonald's is one of the kings of children's marketing, using the only clown who's a surprisingly slower killer than Pennywise. It's all about hot food, cool food, happy food, fun food, big folks. These ads always have brilliant slogans and catchphrases that would change up every year or two. But sometimes they were said so fast that you'd swear they sound a little bit like something else. Like listen to this and tell me if one of these words sounds just the tiniest bit like something else. You know the one McDonald's for food, folks, and fun. What? We're on our way to McDonald's for food, folks, and fun. Did they just add orgies to the dollar menu? It's food, folks, and fun. Is the secret yeah, sauce lubricant now? Stop saying that! We're looking for food, folks, and fun. I'm very uncomfortable food, right now. You were the clown in Eyes Wide Shut, weren't you? Oh, Is nobody hearing this? Don't touch those kids! This might be how they did McDonald's at Caligula's home, but not on Saturday morning. <laughs> This is way too unsettling. I gotta find something more pure and innocent. Hi, I'm Jared the Subway. Ah! Cosby oh, here. Not that. Pudding pop. Mmm, candy. Oh, oh, here we go. Weight. I'm losing weight deliciously with the aid of AIDS. AIDS helps put me in control. AIDS may taste like a candy, but AIDS contains one of the most effective AIDS. appetite suppressants you can buy. AIDS helped me lose the weight and has nothing in it that could make me nervous. I think a lot of people would disagree with you on that. Question, um, why take diet pills when crazy. you can enjoy AIDS? I can <laughs> safely say why there are some reasons. AIDS, AIDS helps you curb your AIDS. appetite. You eat less Cat's because you want less, so you lose weight naturally. Among a few other side effects. AIDS helps you stay the way you want to be. Why not try AIDS? Okay, dude, this came out in the mid 80s. Ooh. Were none of you reading a paper? So why don't you let AIDS help you lose weight? Let the AIDS plan teach uh. you how to take off weight and help keep it off. Try peanut butter AIDS. What? Peanut <laughs> butter AIDS. Was the yo-yo the best thing <laughs> considering yo-yo Excuse dieting? me, your ignorance has caused me to retreat into the uncomfortable corner. <laughs> <laughs> where Michael lives every day of his life. Wait deliciously with the aid of AIDS. Now comes with sweaty gets. collar to tug at. Oh no, there's like wow. a under the stairs. Try right peanut butter AIDS. Okay, we gotta get the bad taste of that commercial out of our heads. Yay! So let's travel all the way to Japan for one of the greatest ads of all time. 
It's for the Sega Saturn, and to emphasize how intense it was, they created Segata Sanchero, the most Best. aggressive spokesperson ever. It didn't matter what you were doing. If you were off to play baseball, he'd beat the shit out of you and say play Saturn instead. Segata Sanchero. Sega Saturn. Going out dancing tonight? Fuck that no. noise, you're playing no. Saturn now. Segata Sanchero. Sega Saturn. Hey look, it's Santa. Oh shit, it's Segata. <laughs> First time playing Sega, <laughs> goddammit. Segata. When he wasn't yep. pounding the console into you, both figuratively and literally, he was winning soccer games, beating skaters with no skates, killing zombies, falling in love, and training to his kick-ass theme song. <laughs> this guy is amazing! He's like Chuck Norris fully realized. You know, like if you have Chuck Norris and took out the homophobe stuff, you'd have Sega Top! He's like a myth they talk about in stories. If that myth had a physical form and could punch you. He was yep. one of the most phenomenal things to ever hit television. Sadly though, every myth has to die. Yep, they actually killed off Segata in the only way Segata could die. Stopping a nuclear warhead from destroying Sega by jumping off a building, propelling it back with his own feet, and launching it into space. It was pretty emotional. We will never forget he you, Sega Top. He still lives. We'll ironically forget that Sega Saturn is not around anymore, but you will always live on! I mean, you saw the He's thing. one of the most awesome series of commercials ever, and I proudly support a beating of me if it means seeing more of his incredibleness. Sega Santa! One of the year's most enchanting stories is about oh, to bloom. Oh, God. Park. You ever look at an ad for a movie and say, shit, I'm gonna have to look at this for a few months? Now, Don Bluth, the director of An American Tale. The director who gave us some of the greatest anime movies of all time says, you know what, maybe Barney was onto something. A troll in Central Park. Now, you too can enjoy the wonder and enchantment of a friendship that grows and blossoms. God, I'm just waiting for Dirk the Daring to slice his head off, or the T-Rex from Land Before Time to devour him, or the Owl from Secret of Nin to peck his little face out. Ooh. Don Bluth up this Don scary. Bluth film! And I know what you're thinking, aren't I being a little too hard on an animation legend? Well, if he has a problem with it, he can tell me himself! Ah! Don Bluth? Don Bluth? That's an angry man. Oh my god, I am the biggest fan ever! Oh my god, Don Bluth, look at me right now! Oh my god, Secret Name <laughs> is one of my favorite <laughs> all-time like movies. Holy here. shit, American uh, Tale, when he's just like, oh, he I'm gonna make his mother right there! Look to the fucking left! Land before time, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> George Lucas was a swear word! That was like the most unbelievable angry thing! you like, I want a kick-ass movie about dinosaurs! You are amazing! And what are you doing right now? Just waiting. I want to see what you're gonna do. What? Uh-oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Because I made fun of some of your work in the patch, you're giving me the silent treatment, huh? Okay, mm -hmm. all right. I'm not gonna be intimidated by a film giant like you. You gonna give me the silent treatment? I can give you the exact same thing back. No, you can't. No, no you can't, Doug. This is Don Bluth, dude. <laughs> What is he drawing back there? I don't know, but Don Bluth knock, doesn't knock. look real. Oh, come on. It's the law. You have to say who's there. To look at him is to disappoint. Knock, knock. Who's there? You go. You go who? You go bye-bye! Yeah. Nope. Every chance. How the hell are you doing that? Ah! One of these buttons has to work. Uh, what's this one do? Ah! Commercial. Got to commercial. Suck my cockadoodle, you weirdo! Go, 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 go. Hey! You can get the power with your old Power Rangers glove. Hey, I have it's the those. most tediously advertised hand garments until those. frozen. With built-in karate shop sound effects. Now you can be tough by looking like a mix between a NASCAR driver and Dexter's mom. 
Turn on the yeah. TV, protect your lamp, and send it anywhere to summon other rangers. Oh, look. You even pretend you're the Power Rangers with this stock footage. Just like the real actors pretend they're the Power Rangers with stock footage. Oh. Actually, the funniest thing about this commercial isn't even the gloves. It's the alarm you're supposed to put outside your door. Get the Power Ranger Room Defender, a motion detector that scares off the bad guys. Stand back. This room is protected by the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Oh, yeah. If you got bullies at your school, that's sure to scare them away. Look at that. He hears the sound and he immediately goes into a seizure. I think most of us know what would really happen in this situation. Uh -oh. Stand back. This room is protected by the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. <laughs> Give me all your money. <laughs> hey, as long as they don't play Let It Go, I'm totally okay with these things existing. Saban's Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Squads, TV projector lamp, and room defender sold separately from Happiness Express. Give me all your money. <laughs> Lex Luthor has Superman trapped. Now you'll tell Good. me why Superman peanut butter tastes so great. <laughs> Slow day for evil, Alex. Never. So fresh roasted, so creamy, so yummy. Then its secret will be mine, all mine. I needed to make my ultimate weapon, peanut butter aids. <laughs> the kids save Superman and supposedly uh. put Luthor away in jail, but... I don't know. Is it me or does this look more like Rapunzel's tower? Why do they lock him up in the same place Bowser holds Princess Peach? Also, Superman was ready to die to keep the recipe of his peanut butter safe? That's some pretty jacked up priorities there. You know, Superman, it is only peanut butter. Never. If you'd only give me the recipe. Never. Have you ever seen Kryptonite kill a man? Your insides get eaten out, eyes burst through your sockets, and blood goes out your ears and nose. You're going to go through all of that just for your damn peanut butter? Yes. You know, I'm starting to wonder which one of us is the true crazy one here. <laughs> With ads like I mean, these, I'm not shocked this super butter isn't still Batman's around. Crazy. Just wait, Superman. I'll find out. Superman peanut butter. Its strength I'll is its great out. taste. And the fact that it apparently makes you invisible. What? What the hell? That is a devil! As an adult, I insist on a cereal that offers oh. nutrition. Frosting! I want frosting! Ah, uh, yeah, remember these? These were the Frosted Mini Wheats commercials that advertised both adults and kids as adults and kids. I love the crunchy wheat taste of Kellogg's Mini Wheats, but the frosting side agrees with the little kid in me. The adults would always talk about the healthy aspects of the cereal, while the kids always talked about the sugar-coated part of it. The proper cereal is low in fat, salt, and taste! What about taste? The only problem is, if any adult really could communicate with himself years later, it probably wouldn't be as chipper as they were letting on. I am a very proper adult, so I always eat... Sugar frosted sweets that keep me energized! It's filled with whole grain wheat and is so nutritious for... The little kid inside! Of course, if the younger me knew that scraping off the sugar side would have prevented him from being a diabetic, he probably wouldn't have eaten it. Wait, what? Oh, yes. And don't even get me started on your colon. That gets really jacked up. Dude, I don't want to know this. Neither did I, but you go through it, along with an ex-wife and a divorce that cost you most of your earnings. Uh... Don't forget child support to look after little brats like you that I help raise. Uh, I think I hear my mom calling. Your mom's dead! Couldn't afford to pay all the medical bills after buying you all the sugar-frosted mini-wheats for your damn little mouth! Do yourself a favor and never grow up, never fall in love, never get attached to anybody in your life! You hear me? It's not too late! It's not too late! <laughs> Change your life before you become a nuclear bomb of devastation! Ah! Get back here! You can't escape your misery! Frosted Mini Wheats is part of this complete breakfast. You knew this was coming someday. <gasps> Still a cute oh, idea, damn, even if reality son. can get the best of it. Um, I know it goes on my tray. The sweet stuff! Hey, little Pokemon. buddy, want a ride? Yes. Ugh. I was in college oh, when Pokemon came out, so I was not the right age for it. And if you're a little kid and grew up with it, great. I'm glad you had fun. But for all the adults who had to endure this, this was a pain in the ass to put up with. It was everywhere. It was like every boy band except the obnoxious music was replaced with Pika Pika Pika. We didn't know what it was about, and we didn't care. We just knew it was annoying. So friggin' annoying. You guys remember those so pardon me if I'm not very excited to watch yeah. another commercial on it. I'll be right back. Wait, what's he doing? Yeah. 
Yeah. My god, is it true? Are they finally gonna die? No. Yes! Squash them! Kill them all! Turn them into Pokey Mash! Pokey Mash! Yeah. <laughs> my god, that was beautiful. I don't know who you are, fish eyed lens fat man, but you are my new personal hero! Bless you. Where can you catch all 150 Pokemon? Yeah. On your Game Boy, that's where. Damn! Bullshit! Fucking cop out! How do you get a Game Boy from a bus? You know what? Screw it. Through the power of emotional denial, I will rewrite this ending in my head the way I want it. Where can you catch all 150 Pokemon? Nice dark idea, even if it no, does need to go too hate. happy near the end. Pick a die! Pick out You're people. looking at the next breakthrough oh, of the yeah, Super Nintendo the super Entertainment scope. System. Ah, yes, the Super Scope. The Rob the Robot of the Super Nintendo. Okay, so you're a Nintendo kid, and you have a ton of fun blasting things with your blaster. What do you want that's even more advanced than that? Well, gee, uh, how about a shotgun? Or a machine gun? Or, a uh, bazooka? Okay, in hindsight, it does sound kind of cool. I mean, bazookas make big explosions, and we're all sick fox, so we like that. But with those other guns, you could be mobile. You can move around. You can pretend you're an action hero. Who pretends to have a bazooka? What little kid is like, hey, you want to go play cops and robbers? Nah, I much rather play gigantic piece of plastic I place on my arm, immediately making it sore and sitting still looking through a little eyepiece. I'm going to hear about you on the news, aren't I? Yes, you are. It was so boring even to look at that they had to line up a bunch of them in a row, tricking you into thinking it was more cool than it really was. Yeah, you know the one thing they're not doing? Firing them at the friggin' screen! Because it's goddamn boring! Oh, wait, we'll do it once. There we go. Now back to all the exciting things you will never do with it. You might want to consider some basic training exercises. I know it's like a collector's item and it has a special place in people's hearts, but there's a reason it never caught on. And it's yours for under $60. Christ, that sounds like too much even today. And that was a lot more back then. Give these ads credit for trying to make it look good. But it's another one of those accessories that just never got the momentum it needed. Super Scope 6, only for Super Nintendo. Super Scope. It's not virtual, boy, but it's close. Mm. Jesus, you fucking psycho! Damn. Here's a little PSA from Canada. No, uh, oh, no, no, I've learned my lesson. Canada is fucked up. They may look all cute and innocent, but then they're sneaking in rape whistles and putting dicks in your mouth and God knows what else. Well, I'm not falling for it this time. I'm the sous chef here. With any luck, I should be head chef by next year. Oh, well, that sounds kind of nice. I've got this amazing fiance. Oh, well that sounds sweet. A nice no. couple finally found no. love. It's gonna be bad. I won't be marrying this weekend. Oh, what? Well, you have to change the date or something. God, that's always so hard when that happens. Because I'm about to be in a terrible accident. Huh? But really, I should have cleaned up the grease over there. And they should never put the deep fryer so close. <laughs> oh! Nothing. Cause you're sick! If I have to hold one more box, I'm gonna snap. Did you say snap? Oh, oh yeah. yeah! If you're too young to remember oh, this, then yeah. you need an education. The idea of having a wrestler advertise beef jerky sounds as standard as anything. But when that wrestler is Randy you Savage and he's given one no, hell of an extreme campaign, you. it turned out to be one of the coolest ads ever. Yeah, let's face it. When a room starts shaking and shit starts blowing up, this is the person you want to see causing it. Macho Romeo, Man Randy Romeo, Savage. Where's thou Romeo? Our 
bored. Step into a Slim Jim. There has never been a more pleasing image to come out of a puff of smoke. He's like the Kool-Aid man if he slipped you ecstasy. You just never <laughs> wanted this guy to leave. Oh, your education got you down? Well, step into it. Step into a Slim Jim. Look at this. It's a room Damn. full of lamps. I'm getting hard just thinking of Randy Savage busting in here. Oh my god, is there a way to mate with Slim Jims? Don't answer that, Internet. Tear to the spice! Dad's Mr. Savage. How about the funky chicken? Oh, is that a wolf? Oh, yeah! He had so much testosterone, even saying the letter T seems super aggressive. You a little excitement? These are some of the coolest ads ever, so and so good. much of it came from the Macho Man himself. If you haven't come across any of these yet, then definitely go check them out. Awesome. Gotta hear beef, gotta hear spice, need a little excitement. Snap it to a Slim Jim. Oh, yeah! I'm calling telephone Tammy. Look who it is. Oh. Yes, yep. that is me. Look yes, Luna. it is. Tammy. Tammy. Hello. Tammy. I've been waiting for your call. I no. I have so much to tell you, Tammy. Let's share secrets. Hey, girls. Ever want to talk on the phone with a toddler? Of course you haven't, because that'd be goddamn insane. But this exists for some reason. Wait till you see my new hat. I just <laughs> love to go shopping. I do too. Fucking weird, right? What are the chances of finding another girl who likes shopping? We're like soulmates, two-year-old who seems uncomfortably well-spoken. That's great. Can I talk to Tammy? Do you like pizza? She said so much. Does she? Because it sounds like mostly useless shit to me. It's like they're trying to combine traditional girl stuff to a point where it makes no sense. Like, hey, you like horses and dresses? Here's a dress made out of horses. You like uh. babies and cooking? Here's how to cook babies. You like uh. dancing and tea parties? Read Pride and Prejudice. It's an engaging read of challenging social class. Why did these things come together? I don't know. It doesn't seem to still be around, so I guess it didn't work. Some combinations are clever. This one is just... odd. I love you. Batteries not included. Call me soon, okay? Damn, me okay. How are okay, you? Okay, I'm done! I'm sorry! I'm sorry about all the things I've said about you! Just for God's sake, stop giving me that death glare! I'll do anything you want! Anything at all! Just for God's sake, stop looking at me with those horrible, dark, bloopy eyes! What do you want from me?! being sponsored on uh Bedtime Barbie uh, doll has a soft yeah. body. And uh it actually got success I believe it got successfully funded. Let me actually look. Okay. That's uh, that's good. Cuz the next episode appears to be Dragon Slayer because Don Bluth. Yeah. I see Don Bluth. Yeah. So Yeah, with Don Bluth. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So Slayer the movie. Mm. There we are. Um, <laughs> Bluth Murder Project with the help of Nostalgia Credit could previously review seven of his films. Several of his films were followed very negatively. Uh, got more than twice the budget on January 16th, 2016. Hmm. Okay. Bluth and Goldman have announced that the film will provide more backstory for Dirk and Batman. Okay, all right. Okay. So there we go. Hmm. Cool. All right. So that's something to look forward to. Yeah. Huh. Well, so... Uh, well, that was certainly a <clears throat> thing, and Don Bluth is a scary, scary man. Yeah, well, 
he I was gonna say he's he's an old man. He's an old man and um he's honestly I wouldn't mess with him. Is Don Bluth perhaps from Canada? Because Canada's scary. Canada's kind of scary. Don Bluth is scary. American no, he's from America. El Paso, Texas. Uh, about as far as you can get from Canada, as it happens. In America, so... No. No, not really. Well, uh, okay, um, in terms of America, yeah, okay. Yeah, uh, yeah okay. Because I don't think there's a more... I, th- I don't think there's a more Republican-esque place in, Amer- in America outside of Texas. That's a scary man. Uh... <laughs> Oh man, he is seventy nine years old. Huh. Jeez, and he's a Mormon. Hmm? Brigham Young University. It's a Mormon. That well, that doesn't necessarily mean that he's Mormon. Uh, early leader in the Church of Jesus Christ. His great Saints? grandfather. Okay, great grandfather. Uh, huh. n- no. Uh, Blue spent two and a half years in Argentina on a mission for the Latter Day Saints. Okay. So there we are. All right. Well, there you go. Orson sure. Scott Card, also LDS. Hmm. Thankfully, not LSD. Well, maybe. I mean, who, who have, you, have you read Ender's Game? Oh, Ooh. that's right. Orson Scott Card. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Also, strangely enough, uh, well, actually, he was early on, but he later became non-denominational. Paul Walker from uh, from Fast and Furious. Hmm. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Also, John Moses Browning. It's true. Yeah, that's true. Man, <laughs> a lot of a lot of. Man, Honest Hearts was a cool DLC, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So <laughs> this was okay. So this was well, interesting. This was well, very no, John Moses Browning created yeah. the 1911. Yeah. Okay. Historical fact. It's true. Also historical fact. Joshua Graham didn't die when they lit him on fire and threw him in the Grand Canyon. It's true. He just got mad. <laughs> he He's just scary. got mad. <laughs> That's good. That's really saying, good. I don't think anybody could really take Joshua Graham. I don't Why think would so you either. want to? Oh, you wouldn't want to. No. no. That's a scary no, 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 man. No. I don't even think Ulysses could do it. Damn. Man, Ulysses is a... Mm-hmm. That guy's certainly something. I he tell is you what. He's uh, <laughs> whew. oh Nate, you are gonna. Ha- oh, we're gonna get so deep into Fallout lore, man. You That's are good. Have a good. That's time. good. That's good. I want to. Yep. Oh boy. All right. So you're gonna have to show up for more streams, Mike. I can't do this alone. Uh, Fallout Three in New Vegas. That would be. That would be a seriously good time. Serious, like it's it's happening. Well, actually, uh, we found out that there uh, a recent update on Tale of Two Wastelands. There, whenever you transfer over to uh, New Vegas, they've actually added a, uh, a new little little video, which is kind of <laughs> cool. Yeah, I've New Vegas development or uh, Tale of Two Wastelands development has been kind of slow because you know Fallout Four came out, right? But, uh, soon, soon. All right, so everyone out there, thank you all for tuning into this. Uh, this was the Nostalgia Critic Conquest of the Commercials, or the sixth one. Yeah. Uh, eh. Or eh, eh, yeah. So, uh, thank you all for tuning in. Uh, Be sure to check out the original video in the description down below. Also, don't forget to check out our Patreon and our our patron saints. They are included in the description as well. And uh, I guess until next time, signing off for the Renegades, I'm Nate. I'm Ben. Micah. And we will see you all later, everyone. Peace out.